Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, make a Sconcy business. Today I want to make a quick video just briefly covering the change for DLive merging with Theta Network and how this really doesn't fix all of the underlying issues that they had before with centralization and barely really using their cryptocurrency or the blockchain. And you know, and I'll explain why by uh sharing my screen and and showing you directly on DLive because just the other day, somewhat of a more prominent crypto influencer said that, um, well, he's a DLive streamer, go figure. But he said that he watched one of my videos previously talking about DLive and he said I was just generalizing and saying what I think about the network and like I didn't know what I was talking about. I don't really need to speculate. I can literally just show you right now what is wrong with this platform and it's really easy uh i've don't i've already gone through everything before today i want to just go over some of the really really obvious things that that really just make this not viable especially not decentralized so to get your money that you've earned also the minimum that you can that you can withdraw is is 4250 lino points I swear before I remember it personally, this is just from what I remember, it was like 2,500. I think they upped it, but maybe not regardless. Um, originally I bought like 1,500 and then I realized, oh wow, like I can't even get that back until I've earned like $40 worth or something. I don't understand why that's the case because again, if this was a real cryptocurrency, how could there be a minimum value? that you can withdraw, right? To withdraw, you need to upload a government ID. That's insane. To to take your own money. And it's not even like, oh, you earned it and then you want to take it. You might have literally bought it. For some reason you're allowed to buy it without an ID, but you can't take it back without an ID. So, this is the only platform I've ever seen that requires an ID to take your own money and do what you want with your own money. That's probably the most egregious. If we actually look at Lino, um, yeah, so, so this is Lino. I, again, I don't really consider this a real cryptocurrency because they control everything. They control the price. Um, it's completely centralized. You can't even take your money back without an ID, which is insane to me. And um, yeah, previously you could just get your money and, and it, it's getting more centralized. Ironically, they're saying it's becoming more decentralized and, you know, more blockchain, the more moving towards the values behind blockchain technology, but they're really moving away from it. And, um, yeah, like, so I almost have about 2000, but again, you can't get your money back unless you withdraw at 4,250 and you upload your ID. And I'm not going to do either because I'm not going to earn that much and I'm not going to give them more money in hopes that I could get my money back. Again, they, they sell it at the price that they set which again, they could also change at any time. So get Lino points. So if I wanted to buy 88 today, it's a dollar 53. And I would, I also don't know why they have these really weird balances that you have to buy at, right? Cause I just want 4,250 so I can just get my money back. So apparently I would have to buy 2,888 for the reason is beyond me. Um, and that would cost me $36. And then I would be able to upload my ID and then finally get all my money back. It would just be such a hassle. And I don't know why anyone doesn't see this right away. I mean, here's the thing. I understand why people like DLive. They're coming from Twitch. They see that there's no fees um, for the money that they're earning. And they think this is amazing. This is also a new platform. It's much easier to get started. There is an amazing value uh, proposition for people leaving Twitch and coming here. For people who are coming here for the 
blockchain aspect, for the decentralization, they're all being misled. Alex Jones was banned off of this platform. It is not censorship resistant. It's unfortunate because PewDiePie endorsed this platform, but he didn't know. I guarantee he doesn't know because he's probably looking at it from the lens of like Twitch to this. He's not really looking into the fact that, you know, you can only withdraw after 4,250. You need to upload a government ID. It's uh, lino, po lino points are not traded on any exchange. The price is solely determined by the company and again, could be changed at any time. You buy 4,000 today, next week, they might decide that it's worth half as much now. Sorry, you know, it's not determined by the market. It's not determined by anything aside from what they decide. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just so obvious. It has nothing to do with the Theta network, regardless if the Theta network improves their use of the blockchain or somehow decentralizes more if it takes them to 50 million users. If any of that stuff happens, that's great. But the basic stuff that they've set up here is just so anti-blockchain, uh, crypto, the values of that. like Because no one wants to give their government ID just to be able to, to take their own money, whether or not you even earned, if you just bought, just to take your stuff back. You need to give your government ID. That's insane. That is insane. That's like, imagine if you went to the store one day and you bought something and then you wanted to return it. All you need is a receipt. And when you go up and you give them a receipt, they say, I need to see a driver's license. And you say, uh, I don't have a driver's license because I don't drive. And they say, sorry, you can't get your money back because even though it's your money. We've decided to now lay some big obstacle in between. And we know you don't want to give up this information, but we're going to demand it if we're going to allow you. They say it's for anti-money laundering. <sighs> yeah. DLive does not store any of your personal info. I don't, I don't believe that either. You also have to be 16 years or older. Okay, so so what happens then? Why why can't why don't you have to be 16 years or older to purchase? You could be a 13 year old and you could purchase Lino, but if you want to take your money back, you can't now. Honestly, the fact that people don't just see this and recognize this right away. I mean, I understand why this guy said that on Twitter because he's a D live streamer. So naturally, the only people who are really going to be upset with this information and and, you know, clash with the stuff that I'm putting out is because they're D live streamers like no one else is going to refute this. They're going to come on here and be like, yeah, why would I upload an ID? That's insane. Uh, why would I have this minimum of four thousand two fifty? Why would I trust lino points that aren't on exchanges or anywhere in the price is completely determined by the company? They've been claiming that they were going to actually start using the blockchain for years and years. And even if they finally do now, all of this, all the stuff they've set up is still the most centralized ever. It doesn't even matter if they start using the blockchain finally. So, you know, you, you can, uh, you can claim that I'm speculating or giving my opinion or generalizing or whatever you want to do, but it, it's, uh, it's self-evident. If you just go and look at the website and you just base, like to jump around a few of their tabs related to Lino and you can see all the information yourself. This isn't my opinion. This is just, this is what it is. And it's really centralized. It's really unideal. Again, great value proposition for Twitch users who aren't concerned about, you know, maybe the value changing or all the sketchy shit that's going in the background. But, you know, I think anyone who uses blockchain platforms, crypto monetized platforms can clearly see that this is an egregious platform to be going around claiming that it is a blockchain platform and that it is a crypto monetized platform where you can earn cryptocurrency. Uh, I feel like I, I had to make this video today because it's just it's so ridiculous. It's honestly so ridiculous that people 
actually think that these guys are out for their best interest. They previously used to be on Steam. They abruptly left Steam and abandoned all of their users and everyone was dumbfounded and they're like, what happened? And they moved to Lino and they've been on here there for almost like a year, two years now. And um, nothing has really changed. I wouldn't be surprised if they switch. I mean, for me, seeing that they're, you know, merging with the Theta network seems more of a another like attempt at being able to claim that they're doing some radical change again because they're always making well every like year or so they make some radical change that doesn't really fix anything or make anything better it's just a change so that they can say you know like we're we're making strides we're doing things differently we're you know making improvements so to speak but um yeah i i, I think people are more than likely going to get scammed or maybe this will go up to 50 million users and then people will eventually turn around and like smear me for pointing out that it's extremely centralized extremely like it's not good for the users of the platform and unfortunately there aren't a lot of great live streaming uh blockchain alternatives so I, I don't blame them for using this, but to go around claiming that um, it isn't very centralized and it isn't prone to censorship and and all these terrible things that they have set up with this platform, uh, that is just blind loyalty. And you're just happy that you're doing so well on this new platform and it's going so well that you got to try to like smite down anyone who is pointing out the obvious flaws and um for me the most important thing on on a blockchain platform is free speech so anti-censorship like or, or censorship resistant right actually using the blockchain to some extent or at least decentralized if you're not going to use the blockchain at least decentralized to some degree right minds.com they only really use the blockchain for the cryptocurrency that you can boost with but they try to decentralize as best as they can they don't involve themselves in disputes unless it's basically a legal issue they they give all the tools to the users even like the jury system they're trying to take uh the centralization out of moderation they are making strides for decentralization D Live is not. If anything, it actually seems more centralized than the last time I reviewed it. Hey everyone, so I wanted to jump back on real quick because I ended this and I was in the middle of editing and I realized that um, I thought it was interesting to point out that whether you're paying in Amazon Pay, which is odd that they switched from PayPal to Amazon because I don't think one is better or worse than the other, you have to pay a huge fee on top of whatever you buy these are selling for basically 0.17 whereas if you just pay with cryptocurrency it's selling uh each line of point for 0.012 so a cent and then uh one fifth of a, of a cent on top of that so it is extremely cheaper to use crypto but i think it's really weird that there's completely different pricing for the two now, you could just argue that's based on fees. But another thing that I thought was really interesting was in April, they made it so that if you buy off of their app, if you happen to be using their app and you were unaware, you're also paying 30% fees if you buy through the app. And I'm pretty sure most people are using the app. So this is just a way to like screw people over because they don't realize they could just go buy it on the website for 30% cheaper. Honestly, I think the majority of the stuff DLive is doing is extremely misleading and just very disingenuous. And uh, yeah, it, it recommends that you use cryptocurrency because there's no there's no extra fees, but they don't even look. It says this option is not available in the United States. That's the majority of the user base. So they can't use cryptocurrencies. They have to pay all the extra fees. Plus, if they're buying it on a on a mobile app, they're paying another 30 percent. 
Wow. That's insane. The I I honestly, if people don't recognize that this is like regardless of the theta network, the theta network doesn't even matter at this point. It's the fact that it's extremely misleading. They're charging crazy fees. Every buying it in different countries and different applications, it's all different prices. No one else does this, at least not in blockchain and crypto. It's, it's just it's one price. That's it. Why would there be all these different prices? Why would there be a, a 30 percent fee if you decide to buy it on your phone? You know, like. Honestly, I don't know what I don't know what else to say, you guys. It's it's funny that people will criticize my previous videos talking about D live. And it really just inspires me to come back and see what else they've done wrong. And I just end up finding so many more things that are just so much more worse that you'd think they would just be like, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Stop, stop, you know, poking the bear because I'll come and I'll double check and see what else is going terribly wrong uh, with uh, Lino points and D Live. And it honestly seems to be worse every time I check. So it's pretty hilarious that people, you know, get me slowly to come back and take a look at it. Because I, I honestly would love to come back and be like, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Let's take a look. And then I look and then it's way worse. I'm just going to share that because it's important to know, especially when they're saying, oh, maybe this will go up to 50 million users. And it's really unfortunate because I just looked at the website and right this minute, PewDiePie is streaming. And that's that's all the influence they need to just take over the live streaming market for blockchain, even though they're not really using it at all and it's just it's completely bogus <sighs> yeah let me know what you guys think it's crazy uh feel free to point out something that i got wrong um though i mean i was just like verbatim showing you what i was looking at and reading it to you and it's from the dlive website that's why it's like it's hard to say that it's an opinion or i'm generalizing or speculating because it's just right there in front of you um but again, feel free to let me know what you guys think. Make sure to comment hashtag number one ham. If you watched all the way to the very end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. You are amazing. Have an amazing day. I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Sconcy Business, signing off. Cheers.